Hi friends, Adam Thompson coming to you as always from Focal Point of Minnesota's lovely world headquarters in Plymouth, Minnesota. It's Friday afternoon. It is fantastic out, so I'm sitting outside and enjoying the day. Hope you are having a great day. Hope you're wrapping up the week and getting ready to enjoy what will be a fabulous weekend. Not long ago, a couple weeks ago on my podcast, the Phase 2 podcast, which you should all listen to if you are not, my friend and sidekick slash producer, Leanne, told a story about building a better mousetrap. Um, on the show, I talked in the past about how oftentimes uh, entrepreneurs, business owners, uh, like myself, have an idea for a better mousetrap. We go out and create it. She'd mentioned that she had a better mousetrap, and I wanted to hear that story. Turns out that her story was actually about building a better mousetrap. So without giving it away, which I will actually, the podcast basically talks about her mousetrap was a bucket. She actually had a mouse in the house. She caught it in a bucket. She got rid of the mouse. The problem is that didn't really solve the problem. She got rid of one mouse, but mice continued to get into the house. They were finding a way in. She was um, addressing that tactical issue, but not addressing the root cause of the problem. It wasn't until she actually went outside her house, went around the perimeter and found holes where the mice were getting in it and plugged those holes where she truly addressed the problem. Um, the problem was not with the mouse, the problem was with the house. So she went from catching the mouse to fixing the house and thereby really solving that issue. The reason I bring this up is I see this uh, from a business standpoint quite a bit. Um, business owners, leaders, uh, directors, whatever it might be, oftentimes are plugged into the tactical aspects of their business. They are very aware of the everyday occurrences, the day-to-day -day comings and goings, the wins, the losses, the good, the bad, and oftentimes they're very good at dealing with those specific tactical in the weeds pieces, but it doesn't allow them to step back and see the whole picture and look at what are driving some of these things, good or bad, in their business. Take an employee issue. Let's say an employee is having some problem, doing something incorrectly. Well, a business owner uh, might sit that person down, uh, address what's going on, come up with a solution, send them on their way. You know, maybe there's discipline, maybe there's something else, maybe the plan is put in place, and it's fixed for the time being. Problem crop, crops itself back up again, they address it again, a little more severe, da da da. Eventually, maybe this keeps going and it leads to termination of the employee. Problem solved, employee is out the door, the mouse has been caught. Uh, the problem is, what was never really addressed was maybe the overarching issue that caused this specific employee issue, right? What was the root cause of the problem? Is it uh, a hiring issue? Is it a training issue? Is it a capacity issue? Is it a culture issue within the company? Is it a issue of the leadership within the company, the direction of the company, how things are being done, how things are being approached, and might it lead to more mice getting in, right? Perhaps this is the problem that other employees will have because the root cause has not been addressed. The mice keep getting caught, but the hole in the house the crack in the foundation is not being addressed. When business owners allow themselves to step back, to play the role of addressing the perimeter, of checking out the exterior of the building, of the house, of the company, of the organization, and rising up to that leadership level and looking at the big picture and solving the big issues and focusing on addressing those, setting those boundaries, establishing what they allow to happen and what they want to happen. Setting people up for success by driving the vision, driving the culture, establishing what we do and what we don't do as an organization. That's when business owners truly become leaders and can truly address those issues in the foundation of the business. Plug the holes, fix the house, and not just catch the mice, right? It's a hard thing to do it takes vision, it takes strategy, it takes the ability to step back and find out what you're best at and where you are best suited in your role as a leader, as an owner. And those are the conversations I have every day with my clients on how to get themselves out of that tactical, technical role and into a leadership role. 
If it's something with which you're struggling, if you know someone who is struggling with that, I would love to have that conversation. Please comment on this video below. Um, if you want to have a conversation, send me an email, athompson at focalpointcoaching.com or message me directly. Say, let's have a conversation. All my contact information is listed there. I'd love to have a conversation with you. I would love to hear your comments on the video, on the content below. If you know someone who's dealing with this, share this video to them. Link this video to them. Maybe what I'm saying resonates with them. And perhaps uh, she and I or he and I can have a conversation as well. Like I said, have a great weekend. It is lovely. Get out of the house. Don't worry about the mice for the weekend. Maybe look for some cracks in the house while you're outside enjoying the sunshine. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.